the remote, remote viewing technique uh, is based on a coordinate system and the coordinates don't really mean anything. It's just that the mind needs to be grounded somewhere in the universe. And the, so they would like spew out random numbers to be coordinates. Um, in fact, the original name for the remote viewing program was not Stargate, it was called ScanNate, scan by coordinate. And so they just put out a number. And so think about that number, think about where you are. And um, they would just go into a meditative state and they describe themselves as feeling uh, themselves in a vortex of energy swirling around. You know that as the Merkaba field, but they were creating Merkaba fields as part of this process. And um, when they did that, um, basically they were led to where they needed to go. <laughs> they, and so one of the remote viewers, Mel Riley, uh, went to this galactic headquarters and he reported it. You know, he, As he was doing his drawings and remote viewing, um, it's almost like automatic writing. Um, I took a remote viewing course um, uh, that was offered by Ed Dames, I actually purchased it. And part of the, his technique was you get a, a pad and pencil and you just like whatever, when you're in that state, you just scribble, scribble things. And all of a sudden things start to come to you. And what he imagined was being in, uh, on another planet and he saw this lake and he was led into inside this mountain in a hallway. And then there were these beings mm -hmm. there and he was invited to lay, uh, to lie down on, on this bed, basically, uh, some platform, and they were all surrounding him and talking to him and um, revealed that he was at a galactic headquarters. And that was all written up. Um, I actually have that report. Uh, I can share it. Uh, I think I may have shared it in the EXO studies, if you look at that. Um, but I, I don't know how to share that report through Meta, EXO Metaverse. Maybe I'll, I'll just send it to to use Zenka, so you can probably post it somewhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, available. That and, and visiting Mars, uh, which had an ancient civilization on Mars and things like that. So there are a lot of things revealed <laughs> through these remote viewing sessions. And they're not like, and some of it was like, uh, you know, oh, you know, oh, this is a uh, top secret Russian submarine. You know, some of it was just nuts and bolts weapons, but a lot of it was really, really esoteric. And um, so that was not considered unusual until word of it got out, like I said, into the political world and a lot of forces wanted that shut down because they didn't think, they didn't know what it was. They thought it was all, in fact, a lot of folks uh, um, in positions of power would think what we're doing is demonic. You know, they would not see this as something positive for humanity. Um, and uh, so, I would be happy to share more about the Galactic Headquarters. It goes into great detail.